not talking about this particular case scenario that is a four year old girl is brought to the physician office by her mother because of the anal itching the mother has noticed her daughter scratching rubbing her anal area frequently for the past few days her anal area has been getting red and raw from all this scratching the mother has used some hydrocortisone cream but it now helped much okay the child has not had any obvious skin rashes and is not scratching any other part of the body except the anal area that is statistically what is there in this particular thing perianal pruritus okay she has not had any diarrhea episodes have not took any medications also no significant medical history she attends day care four days a week on examination she is a well appearing child her vital signs in general examination are normal examination of perianal area shows arrhythmia that is redness and excoriation from the scratching okay so that is characteristic of what perianal pruritus you perform a microscopic examination of the sample collected by touching the perianal region with a piece of clear cellophane tape okay microscopic examination you want to do you uh, what you have done you have taken a cellophane tape and you have applied up to that particular area okay and this is what is termed as what guys nih swabbing so this we are talk about what nih swab that is national institute health swab fine and then uh, you remove that particular tape from that region and put it over the slide okay on this particular tape what is there the eggs which are mostly what plano convex here okay which comes out on that slide and you can able to identify that particular thing so basically what diagnostic findings are you likely to see on this microscopic examination which you have done with the this particular after putting up the cellophane tape on the slide so that is the thin walled over eggs that are flattened on one side and contain a nematode larva okay so this particular larva it looks like a tadpole like larva okay it looks like a tadpole like larva fine and it is like this plano convex having this tadpole like larva inside this is typical of what antrobius vermicularis so which organ is responsible for this infection antrobius vermicularis and this particular egg that is the egg of antrobius vermicularis is a bile stain or a non bile stain egg so guys this is a non bile stain egg and a famous mnemonic neha says that it's a non bile stain egg now this particular organism undergoes auto infection also which other fellows they undergo auto infection you can remember by this mnemonic chest and they all undergo what auto infection now what is there in the chest that is the capillary filipensis cryptosporidium pavum cryptosporidium pavum undergoes auto infection along with the capillary filipensis then you have this h nana that is hamlilpis nana okay which is the smallest uh, so stored here then antrobius vermicularis this particular which we are talking about then you have this strongly stercoralis and the tinea solium tinea solium that also undergoes what auto infection so these are the various ones which undergo auto infection okay and you can remember them by what this particular chest okay uh, short short question for sure and what you can give for the treatment albendazole or mebendazole that is given for the treatment of this and what is the most common feature perianal pruritus okay how does the infection happens obviously by the ingestion when you touch the the child scratches up na in this particular one these particular eggs they deposit into the nails and after some time what you see that they have put in in the mouth that particular finger and that's why that 